Hello, bellheads. It is I, Dr. Chungo. I am back with another Taco Bell review. 2018 was not a good year for the doctor. Uh, I'll just go ahead and address this. My radio silence at the top of the show. I've been under heavy litigation from the Taco Bell company, Yum Food Inc. Okay? They didn't like what I had to say in a couple of my last reviews, so I have been barred from speaking until now about any Taco Bell product. <laughs> so I'm here out in front of the plasma center because I've been donating plasma to pay my bills because Taco Bell has sucked me dry, okay? But I got a gift card and I have been cleared uh, to speak in public. So I got a gift card. Thank you to number one Taco Bell uh, review, Chungo review fan. I'm going to keep your name anonymous for your safety sake for now. But thank you for the gift card. I don't know what this person's doing beside me. I and I'm kind of concerned they're with it. Taco Bell Corporation. But to celebrate the doctor being back, we're going to celebrate with the naked chicken chalupa being back as well. So we got the box, of course. Holy heck. I don't remember when I had one of these last, okay? I'm probably going to have to check the timestamp to determine when that was. Because I don't think I've eaten one since I reviewed one. So let's take our inaugural country, crunchy green bite, okay? Mm. Okay, so upon first inspection here, we'll notice it's, it's still small. It was small last time. And it's small now, okay? So, I'm afraid to be critical of Taco Bell. You can hear the apprehension in my voice of being critical of Taco Bell. I got nothing left, yum food go, okay? You took it all. I'm out here donating plasma. Luckily, there's a Taco Bell across the street, okay? I'm lightheaded. I don't have any blood. You taking it all. Wow, mm. cut your mouth on that. Mm. There's something, de there's a sauce in here. It is a little zesty. Mm. There's tomatoes everywhere. I wish I could show you. But I can't because I can't move this. It's better than I remember. So let's take another bite and then we'll throw a little sauce on there. Mmm. Mmm. We got a little dangler here. Mmm. There's a little kick in there. Oh my god. They didn't give me any sauce. I requested the fire and the mild. I like that flavor. But it's not in here. So we're going dry today. Luckily, they make a chicken chalupa. It's got a zesty sauce in there. It tastes good. A little lingering spice. Pairing well with the, with the Baja. We're getting drippy, baby. Mm. We got no napkins. We got no sauce. Okay? This is an authentic car experience. Okay? Alright, let's just... Look at that. That's nice. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Whoa. Crunchy green down. Huh. All right. Last few bites here. Definitely some sausage on, dripping out the back there. That is nice. Mmm. Slurp that up. 
Something about this seems far superior to the first time they, they had these out. I don't know if it's because I'm low on blood from pla the plasma process or they improve, but mama mia. Oh, here's the napkins. <laughs> Couldn't include this also. All right, I don't remember the original rating I gave the Naked Chicken Chalupa, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna give this one four out of five tacos. That was pretty good. It was juicy. The first bite, rough. I hear, scraped it a little bit. But the chicken juice that went into that, and my mouth, and my tongue, and the sauce that, that was uh, is on it now, and the juiciness of the bird, that enhanced this experience to an overall four tacos out of five. So with the box, we also got two more tacos here. Looks like we got regular hard shell and the nacho um, Doritos Logos taco here. So let's just go ahead. We know we're going to save that one. We had some sauce. That would be better. I thought that guy was gonna get in the car for a second. Oh man, this is frigged. You really hate to see that. You really hate to see that. And they don't have the cardboard like they support uh, their Doritos brand, probably by decree of Dorito himself. King Rito, Dr. Rito, excuse me. So we got no sauce for this. This might be an um, a interesting experience. I don't know, I can't remember the last time I had a hard shell without any sauce. So we'll be rating that experience today. Mm. Wet and stale shell. Can you believe people who get Taco 12 party packs of hard shells to go to a, an event? That whole experience must just be furgid, you know? Think about these sitting around in a, for about an hour before you munch on them. Not for me, no thank you. Mm. Beef is seasoned well. These shells could not taste more like cardboard. I gotta say, the, the crunchy green and um, orange strip, chewy orange strip, not the hard ones, uh, and beef ratio in here is pretty good. Mmm. They're pretty good. Glad we got napkins because now the nose is starting to run. Could you imagine getting that in the taco? That's an extra sauce. An unasked for extra sauce that I would not be pleased to have. Beef's pretty good. It's that the ingredients inside are really the only redeeming factor. This shell is now in about six pieces. Let's see if we can get this in in the in a hole. I'm gonna have to go to the vacuums after this for myself and for the car. Hmm. I'm gonna have to give that, I mean, the hard shell, it's, I'm gonna, it's like a one and a half out of five. Like, the ingredients themselves are good. I get it, it's a classic item, but I always forget you can ask for a sock. And that was my mistake. I made a mistake, and I'm willing to admit it. Taco Bell, Yum Food Co. I told you, I'm okay with admitting mistakes in the courtroom and outside. All right, let's finish this up with our nacho cheese. You know, normally I like to end it out with a Cool Ranch. I uh, decided not to upgrade to the Cool Ranch today. Let's just take the box as it comes. This one seems a little more put together. 
This one is bright orange. You can see that from there. That's that's good. That's the color you want your food. Uh oh, we got some breakage there. Luckily, we have this nice cardboard Taco Bell. Thank you for that. The um, let's see here. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of beef in these first couple bites. Let's go ahead and dig in. Mm. The beef there. Mm. I love the dust sits on my lips. Really makes it a true Dorito experience. So when did the boxes downsize on the cups? I got another grande meal recently. I'll do a review on that soon, but the cup was also small. So it, it shows to me that the price has stayed above $5, $6.55 with tax. I'm in the county too. I'm not even in the city, the main location, because it's where the plasma center is. Taco Bell. And $6.55, they downgraded for the cup. They're giving me a hard shell and a Dorito taco. What's that? 99 cents as a 129 item. Naked chicken chalupa is like $3.50. Not, does. come on, I know it doesn't cost you guys that much. Mmm. Wet on the bottom, sharp on the top. I mean, you can't, it's like, I can't even rem, um, rem, imagine that we lived in a world pre Dorito Loco Taco. That was just bonkers to me. This green stuff coming out the top. Mm. Don't bite a cardboard, kid. It doesn't. It doesn't move. Although for that first bite there, I was mistaken. I thought I was eating a hard shell taco because of the the cardboard and the cardboard taste that I previously mentioned. All right, let's go ahead and finish this puppy up. We're about twelve minutes already, so let's run. Let's crunch this down. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. Gonna pile this in real quick. Get out of here. Mmm. Crunchy green stuff left in the box. Down to shoot. All right. I mean, that's a classic Dorito Loco taco experience. I, I don't need to give that one a rating. I think you guys know how I feel about the Dorito Loco taco collaboration, Taco Bell relationship. And, uh, yeah, what can I say? I'm back, baby. Yum Fuko, you can't fucking hold me back, okay? I'm back for good.